Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure brings me to the world's largest white castle, which opened just about three or four months ago here on Palm Parkway in Orlando, Florida. I was here for the grand opening and the ribbon ceremony and have not, hello, have not been back since. Well, I'll take that back. I did go through the drive-through one time and the drive-through was very lengthy. This was a couple weeks ago did not document that experience. And since the grand opening, well, let me step back just a, a moment from then. Before this establishment opened, this building opened, they did what they called a test kitchen, which was kind of a, a little bit of a disaster, if you will. And I also documented that, and due to my stubbornness going near downtown Orlando, was able to get a Crave case, which is like a suitcase, full of sliders. So this will be my third time documenting White Castle in Orlando. Three, three, three and a half months, four months since the grand opening celebration took place right here. And the focus today, what I want to do today or this evening, as I should say, because it's about 6 p.m. Friday, as the recording this Friday, August 27, 2021. I want to do some menu items, not necessarily secret menu items, but menu items that most avoid because they go for the sliders, the beef, meat, hamburger sliders. I'm not going to get any of those. I'm going to get things that you might not realize are on it. I'm inviting you to join me. It, I think it might be raining now. Shall you? I am kind of surprised at the amount of people that are here around dinner time. As stated, right now it is 6.02 p.m on a Friday, which would be kind of going into the weekend. You think there'd be a line out the door, but maybe, maybe people don't eat till a little bit later, which is kind of nice. Or maybe the inclement weather is why no one is showing up, or they just could possibly all be in the drive-through. Okay, that palm tree is now, well, I'm on Palm Parkway, corner of Palm Parkway, so I guess it makes sense to have palm trees. Nonetheless, I should just be able to walk right in and have no wait time whatsoever in ordering my non-hamburger sliders. Oh yeah, there is, yeah, there is no one in line and the way it works and plenty of, plenty of seating inside if I want to sit inside or there's a little patio area outside, whichever I decide. And over here is where you order. You can order on these little, these little LCD screens and choose what you decide, what you want. I think I just got to touch that, maybe. Maybe that one's not working. Maybe this one's working. Okay, so we said not to use the board. I'm going to order up at the register. For one reason or another, since there's no one in here, I just go up to the register to order. So this is kind of what kind of what I'm looking at here. There are lots of different combos and beverages, but I'm not looking for a combo. I'm going to go with, I think I might go with an impossible slider over here. There's also a fish slider, something called a 1921 slider. I'm going to get the Impossible Slider, a 1921, a Fish Slider, and I believe they even have a Surf and Turf. Let's we'll see if they got the Surf and Turf on there. You know, they also have a, you can get an entire Crave palette. Look at this. For $6,399, you can get an entire palette of sliders. They also have chicken and waffles up there, too. Not on a bun, but just waffles themselves. And they also have breakfast all day. I'm going to get a breakfast slider too, and a veggie slider. Okay, I'm going to mix up. I'm going to get a bunch. They're going to be sliders, they're just not going to be beef sliders. Oh, and look at this box here. This says Long Live Sliders. Looks like something out of the, It's like an 80s boom box. Oh, and they also have merchandise over here now. They did not have this merchandise on opening day. Yeah, take a look at this. There is merchandise as well. T shirts here. The original sliders. It is also their 100th birthday. You can get a 100th birthday mug. It's not a 100th birthday of this, this, particular, this particular franchise spot, but it is the company's 100th anniversary. Long live sliders. You can get a ball cap down here. You can get a backpack. You can get some sunglasses. And of course, the tumblers there. And these are all the prices on the merchandise as well. The most influential burger of all time. I'm not going to get a burger though. 
Well, anything that is a burger is going to be combined with something else, not the not the go-to that you would get in a crave case. A crave case is something that looks like this. It's just your standard your standard slider. You say, I just want a crave case. You can get it with or without cheese. I'm not getting anything that would really apply to a crave case. Okay, I'm done ordering. I got $23 worth of food. Now I got my, my beverage here. I got to pick. I can choose any of these. as choose your drink. Looks like Dr. Pepper is all out. I wanted to try to get a Dr. Pepper, but it says unavailable. Oh, Dr. Pepper is over here. So I'm just going to move. I'm going to move my cup over here. I'm going to go with the Dr. Pepper top. Great. And then I'll just go with a little cherry there. And there it is. I probably should get some ice first. No ice. Alright, an ice free Dr. Pepper. I guess they were out of ice. Or at least. That one's out of ice. Seems to be plenty of ice in that one. All right, I found some ice in the other one. I got I got, got some ice in there now. The napkin dispenser is very, very futuristic. It kind of spits them out. Do I, do I put my hand under there? Or do I push it? I can't remember how this works. Okay, they might be out. The napkins might be out. I think it's supposed to go off of your hand. I'll just ask for some napkins up at the counter. Yeah, in all truthfulness, it really is not that busy in here. For future reference, a Friday around 6 p.m., at least as of this time of year, not many people in here. I did kind of crinkle it up a little bit, but here's a look at my receipt. You can see an itemized list there. Total $23.33. $1.42 of that was taxed. But I got the 1921, I got the chicken, I got the impossible. I got the surf and turf, I got a veggie slider, I got a chicken ring, I got an egg, an egg sandwich, I got a, a large Coke, which I got a Dr. Pepper instead, and I got another item, which I'm gonna have to just wait till I see it to remember what it is. I, I can't remember exactly what it is. The original. They are claiming the original slider since 1921. Yeah, that's a hundred years. Now I did get quite a bit, so I don't think I'm gonna go with the dessert on a stick, but look up here. They have something called dessert on a stick. You can choose from fudge dipped cheesecake, brownies, and they even have, if it's your birthday, they have a, a birthday cake as well. And they also have loaded fries. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but at least I'm getting some stuff I've never tried before. It's always good to go back to White Castle. They also have a Harold and Kumar special, but it is way, way too much food for one person to eat. So I'd have to have, have to have a few people with me to ever try that, come back and try that. This states that you can buy them by the sack. Well, it's a proclamation. Buy them by the sack. And there's a bunch of, bunch of old school paraphernalia here, advertisements all along the side. It says energy builds vitamins. White Castle hamburgers right along there. Yeah, this is pretty neat to have all this retro retro stuff in here. Be sure the sign says White Castle. And then after the show, get a White Castle. Eat them at the counter or buy them by the sack. Ooh, 50 million hamburgers served in 1941 by White Castle. Wow, that's a lot of hamburgers right there. Also just noticing that above the counter where the food preparation is taking place, they have the lettering right up top up there. Yeah, you see they have the lettering up top. Now they do make it fresh, so it does take a while. You gotta be patient. It's not immediate, but trust me, it is It is worth the wait. It's quick, but it's not like, it's not sitting under a heat lamp or anything. They're making it fresh. All right, just in the last 15 minutes while I've been in here, kind of filming and waiting for the food and everything, a lot of people have showed up. It's gotten a lot busier in here. So six o'clock is the, the key time frame. My number was 216. Okay, they're saying to, for the way to the queue to go because the queue is stretching out the door now. But I am, they, I, they asked for my name, I said Adam, and then they said they're gonna call Adam and 216 and dine. So here are my two bags for 216 for me and this 
is what we're dealing with right down in here. Just realized that the surf and turf was omitted omitted from the bag when she handed me the bag. She said, I think something's missing. Go through them and just let me know what was not included. And I said, I don't think the surf and turf is on there. So they are making a fresh surf and turf. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, not including the drink as well. So there we go. A little, a little white castle. All right. This tells a story of a very ingenious paper boy back in 62. The paper boy heist of 62. He was so clever that they didn't even hold it against him. The fact that they, he found a way to get sliders for a better, a better deal. They finally inducted him into the Cravers Hall of Fame. And this is the this is the fish. This is not the surf and turf, but that is the that's the fish right there. Okay, I'm gonna start eating this. And might as well start off with the fish. It's always, it's always fun eating in, eating in semi-public places when everyone's in line just looking at you. Mm. You know what? It's not the fish. That is the serpenter. So I'm missing something else. This is the serpenter. This was the serpenter. Maybe another one. Okay, don't, whatever it is that's missing, don't worry about it. All right. Okay, thank you so much. So something was omitted. It wasn't the surf and turf. Maybe it's the regular, it's the regular fish sandwich. It's just fine, I don't need the. It's very confusing because I ordered so much, so many different items, but yeah. Surf and turf, pretty good. Mm. That is a very interesting concept. There is a lot going on there with that surf and turf. It's got the meat, the cheese, and a fish sandwich. And they were nice enough to make another one because they thought it was omitted. Something was omitted, but it wasn't the surf and turf. Looking at it now, it definitely was just the regular fish sandwich, which I don't need because it's included in the surf and turf. If that makes any sense. Which is a good thing they brought more because they brought the other one because now I can just like each and every one of them that are here at least attempt to attempt to display them. There's, that's a lot of sandwiches. Just how much food there is there. Okay, I gotta get to eat. These are not onion rings, they are chicken rings. There we go. Onion scented carry-on. Some more facts on all the boxes there. But they're not made out of onions, they're made out of chicken. See if you can hear the crunch. Okay, not much crunch. Those are really good. Probably should have got a dipping sauce. They asked if I wanted dipping sauce. I said no. I kind of wish I got some dipping sauce. These would have been good dipping sauce. Pretty tasty. Really good. Now it's time for the veggie patty. This is completely meat meatless. It's all veggies. Right inside there. Yeah, no meat in here at all. Just veggies and cheese. That's different. That's really different. You can definitely see that it has the vegetables. Yeah. Look at that. That is full of vegetables. I even see like a pea. There's a pea in there. It was a little unusual the first bite, but I'm kind of used to it now. It's not bad. I don't know if I'd get specifically only these, but we're trying once. The veggie. The veggie slider. Still have four more to go. This is the double here. So I guess I could probably polish that off too. I don't know how leftovers from this place would be. It might be good. I've had the crepe case leftovers. I don't know about the surf and turf leftovers. I've had normal slider leftovers before. Still got three of these. Well, still have two of these left as well. So about to devour the other one. So I got over here, I got the, the breakfast, the egg on top of the slider. And then I got the chicken here. 
and I think that's an impossible. Yeah, that's an impossible, and I think that's the 1921. Or no, this is the impossible, and that's the 1921. That's, a, that's the year, so that's a 100-year-old sandwich right there. An homage to it, anyway. I'm feeling like a little egg needs to happen. I'm gonna go with the egg, the egg slider. It's got the egg on it there. Okay, it's a regular slider, so it is a beef slider. And it's got the onions, and it's got the cheese, and the egg on it. That is really good. I would get multi a multitude of these. Something about that egg on top of there really adds to it. Dang, that's, that's tasty. I I enjoy consuming this more than I like the veggie, the, ve the vegetable patty. The impossible slider. Maybe to disguise everything that's on there. Ooh, hold on, I got there you go. Maybe to disguise everything that's on there. That's why they put the pickle, the cheese, the onion, and the tomatoes. It could be the impossible slider from White Castle. But not bad. Mm. It's pretty good, but you can definitely tell the difference. You can tell that it is, it is nestled with the lettuce and tomato to maybe uh, to, to kind of throw off the taste of the patty, the impossible patty. Don't quote me on this, but I had heard that one of the first fast food restaurants to dive into the to use a theme park obsession and dive right in. Catchphrase, Dylan's catchphrase. To dive right into the meatless, impossible, well, not meatless, but impossible burger, fast food-wise, was this establishment. At least that's, that's, what, that's what some say. Okay, dang, now I'm confused. That might have been the 1921 I just had. Maybe there was so much on it that I didn't notice that maybe I was eating real meat. Nonetheless, this looks like, or did they give me two? They might have given me two. I, can, I am very bewildered and confused. Oh, here we go. Okay, it helps to read. So what I just ate, I assumed was the impossible and in my brain, my brain played a trick on me that I thought I was eating an impossible burger when in fact, I was eating a real slider, but the fact that it had so much lettuce and cheese, boy, I just, I really don't know now. This is definitely an impossible. The other one, the other one did not look like this. So this is the impossible. The other one was a regular slider with all the, the add-ons. The add-ons really throw you off. All right, you know, if this is better than the regular slider, then, then I, I really don't know what I'm talking about. Not that I ever really do. But still, it just it tasted a little, a little out there in comparison to the normal meat and cheese slider. All right, it's impossible time. Mm. Now, this is tough to disguise, or it's tough to really review, because it has a different type of onion on it. Right here, it has the caramelized onions. So yeah, what? That's a tough one. Because I'm going with regular onions on the other one and caramelized on this one. All I'm tasting is the caramelized onions. And I'm tasting that this does not taste like regular meat. Mmm. Yeah. I don't know about this. The other one tastes a little off. This tastes a lot. Yeah. Mm. Bold move. Mm. And in all truthfulness, I'm getting pretty full, so I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna tackle this other surf and turf. This might be my last one. The last one of the non-traditional type menu items 
the ones that you don't really get a stack full of, just ones that are the lesser tried menu items here at this establishment. The chicken, the chicken, and it's chicken slider and cheese. I don't know though, I hate to waste food. It's chicken time, it's chicken slider time. As soon as, even me just holding this, I can feel how much more solid it is. It's like a solid patty right there. It's got the cheese on it. Does it have any mustard? Oh, there's no mustard, there's no sauce. This is sauceless. You can get sauces, but there's no, it does not have sauce added on it. Unless you put the sauce on it yourself. You're going sans sauce. Mmm. Okay. That's a good piece of chicken. Okay, yeah. Would get this again. Maybe with some mustard though. It needs, it needs mustard. That was my mistake not getting mustard on it. Mm. Just a little bit of mustard would make this much better. Still good. I'm missing the mustard. My fault. The cheese that's on here is delicious. One of them, they asked what kind of cheese I want. I said cheddar. I think this is the one that has the cheddar cheese on it. And boy, you can really taste the difference. There's also a jalapeno cheese. I did not offer that. But you can taste the cheddar though. It is very, very tasty. I like this chicken sandwich. Chicken slider, I should say. Yeah, I have really polished off all these items from these bags. It slowed down a little bit too. I still gotta finish chewing my food before I start to keep talking. Did you know put your shirt, putting your shirt on backwards is a bold move? It would be a bold move to finish this, but I, to be honest, I cannot eat anymore. I know why this will, this will put me over the edge with uncomfortableness. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put this back in here. So they did make another one, they thought it was omitted. Still don't know which one was not given to me, but they assumed, well, I actually, I assumed that it was the Surf and Turf, but then I realized I had the Surf and Turf, so I gotta thank them for making the second Surf and Turf. But yeah, I don't know, should I? Should, you know what? Yeah, why not? at least a bite or two, right? At least a bite, one bite, one big bite. Bite now. You know, when you're full, that conglomeration of two food items doesn't taste as good when you're full. Some things you can eat when you're full, that's not one of them. That's better when you're hungry. That's weird. Surf and turf is beer. When you're full, I have no hunger left in my belly. Hmm. I think out of everything I have, the slider with the egg was probably the best. And I like the traditional sliders. That's my favorite. That's the go-to. Sometimes with cheese, sometimes without cheese. But everything here is pretty dang tasty. Not gonna lie. And I finished that entire meal without napkins, and now the napkin dispenser is working. Look, yeah, that's how it works. They refill the napkins. I did pretty good eating that whole meal without napkins. Oh, it's still dispensing. And that's gonna do it for today. I have eaten quite a bit. I thought I was gonna be able to complete all those and still have a little room left in the tummy to maybe get a dessert. Nope, I am full, very full. Keep in mind, this place, after, you know, I've left the, the theme parks, have been over on I Drive and stuff, and cruise by here late in the evening, and the drive through gets very long. But as of right now, I lucked out. There was hardly anyone in there. Well, when I first showed up, and then a few people, it started to get a little busier, but now it's kind of kind of tapered off again. There was that 6.30 rush, but now it's about 7. It's 6 o'clock, there was no one in there. 6.30, it got kind of busy, and now no, hardly only a few people. A few people are walking in. The world's largest White Castle, Orlando, Florida, off Palm Parkway. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.
And the sky looks pretty neat over there at this moment. Right over there. Okay, that's it.